You'll need to create charts of angular velocity versus position, radius versus position, and linear velocity versus position. So here's the first one. We'd select all of the angular velocity in degrees per second numbers with the others. If you're using a Mac, you'd hold down the uh, Apple key to do those multiple selections, uh, selecting first the numbers without holding down the Apple key or on a PC the control key. Once one column selected, hold down Apple or control and select the other column. Make sure that everything's lined up through the same rows there. Then go insert. You'll do a scatter graph. Probably uh, the one that makes most sense for us in this case uh, would be this one down here connecting with lines you could do it with points. It really doesn't matter in the end for how you'll visualize these. There's the graph and then if you want to put on some labels and things you can click layout and add axis titles. The below axis would be position in degrees. The vertical axis, usually a rotated title works best for these. You would do angular velocity and this is in degrees per second. You can remove the legend if you like by clicking and pressing delete since there's just one data set on here one legend is all we'd need and if you wanted to put a title you can add chart title. I uh, usually do them above chart. Uh, this one represents angular velocity. Then you've got that chart created. Uh, you can drag it down and move it somewhere else so it's not covering up your data if you'd like. You'll do those exact same steps for radius and linear velocity and then looking at the trends that you see on your giant swing graph which will look nothing like this since these are uh, hammer throw rotations uh, but from those trends that you see on those graphs you'll be able to answer the questions on the uh, homework